How are we all getting along today? I thought I'd do an update on the SS Minnow project as she's coming to a close. I've got the uh, outside underneath, all the rivets covered with JB Weld and a nice coat of Flex Seal. I wire wheeled the entire thing down underneath and got a good coat of Flex Seal on her. And did some little Flex Seal around the seams and stuff inside just for good measure because I had some left over. But a very good friend of mine who is trustworthy and, you know, I have to take the man at his word because he's never led me astray, told me that I was had the wrong concerns, that I should not be concerned with crocogators, that my concern should be with saber tooth gar. And flex seal and aluminum boat is no defense against saber tooth gar. They will chew right through that aluminum hull and your boat will sink. Well, I did remember that uh, my boat had been infested with mice and they had chewed up every little bit of star foam that was the uh, flotation device in case this boat was to take on water. So I power washed all that star foam out of there and got me a half a dozen cans of that uh, rodent deterrent foam. So I have now refoamed under all the seats with the rodent deterrent foam that should allow the boat to float. But if I happen to end up in the water with a saber tooth gar, I figured I better work on a contingency plan. So if any of you remember the old song, How to Catch an African Skeeter Alive, I kind of took that as the basis for my self-defense kit. And as you can see, I have given over and have a plastic cooler. I'm um, going to have to, you know, if I can find me a metal one, I'm going to have to. So we're going to go through my survival kit here. Um, so... In the African Skeeter song, it talks about blowing smoke on him, you know, to uh, take his breath away. And it's like you're supposed to have a cigar 10 years old. I could not find one, but I did find my corn cob pipe and some cherry tobacco that's, uh, oh, it's at least three or four years old. So that ought to do the trick. Uh, then you're supposed to beat on it uh, with a 12-pound hammer. Well, I couldn't find a 12-pound hammer, but I did find a nice 12-pound splitting maul. So that ought to work just the same. And if you are happen to, you know, get lucky enough to knock the old uh, saber tooth gar out, you need to tie its jaws shut. And they said that, you know, the Skeeter requires 100 feet of rope. I don't have 100 feet of rope, but I do have 25 feet of nylon rope there. I, that'd surely tie the gar, you know, tie the gar's mouth shut. If all this fails and it's getting the best of me, um, I've got my, uh, you have to have a hand forged blade in order to penetrate the armor on the saber tooth gar. So my buddy just happens to be a purveyor of the metallurgical arts, uh, metallurgical arts there, and he has hand forged me a beautiful little knife there that has served me well on many adventures. So I think that'll be a good defense. If I am happened to get bit by said saber tooth gar, I figured I better have an elixir. So I dug around and I found the oldest bottle of American honey I could find on the farm. Uh, this one was stuffed in behind a uh, beam there in the barn. Oh, she's a good five years old, about two-thirds full. Got a little dust on the bottle. Been seeping a little bit around the top, but she'll be good. Then you've got to have your, uh, you know, mother of all, you know, bombs there to uh, eventually solve the problem. If the saber tooth gar is going to overtake us, I am willing to take one for the team. So it says you're supposed to have a great big sack full of hand grenades in the song, but I could only come up with one hand grenade. So I will personally shove that down the gar's mouth uh, with my hand attached and take one for the team. So I think we're just about ready. I just got to come up with a set of oars and Eddie and I will be good to float on down the river and Hell, in the end, I may, this may even be the boat. If it survives the first trip, I'll be taking the grandson on a float trip in it. Uh, that's about all I got for today. I'm tired and going to wrap it up. If y'all got any questions or comments or any suggestions on how to fight off a saber tooth gar, please let me know. I do have my beaver-proof pants from Duluth Trading Company that I do believe might be gar-resistant. It wouldn't be gar-proof, so I've already got that under control. Looking for some Kevlar undies. Haven't found them yet. So, got any other ideas, let me know. Y'all have a good one.